take me down to the Paradise City, I think is the tagline. Yes. Right? Yes. Paradise City. Where the girls are hot. Nope. Jamal. Where the... Take me down to the Paradise Where the City. grass is green grass and the girls are pretty. The girls are pretty. Oh, don't you Bow. please take me home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I was shocked at how much I enjoyed this movie. I had so really? low expectations for this. and uh, I'm extremely shocked that you enjoyed any of this movie. Uh, there's a lot I didn't, but overall, oh, sure. I had a lot of fun. I, I, Kevin Hart and uh, The Rock, Dwayne Jack Johnson, oh, yeah. are great uh-huh. consistently together. I, even just their Instagram posts that they do every once in a while. When they're like promoting mm-hmm. movies, are just a lot of fun. They seem like they enjoy working together, which is comes across. Yeah. Um, I thought Jack Black did great. I thought Karen Gillian. I thought Jack Black was the best part about it. Oh, really? I I don't know if I'd go that far. I think uh, Kevin Hart and The Rock were better, but Jack Black was definitely really strong. I felt Karen Gillian. Just the fact that he was having to play a girl, essentially. Yeah. Ah, that's yeah. That's it. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I I think he did a good job. I think he was funny. I think they really, I think they did well with that idea with him. Yeah, without that beating was, you over the great. head with it. Like it was, uh-huh. it was very subtle, which I appreciated. Like it wasn't. Like I think it could have easily just been too much. And oh yeah. Oh, it, for sure. I think he rode that line really well. Um, even just like when he was flirting with Nick Jonas in the cave and they're like, they, <laughs> they connected and like Nick Jonas is like, I have like I'm clearly uncomfortable, but Jack Black yeah. didn't understand. Like he does that. He's seen Jack yeah. Black. Uh, I thought that was a good moment, but, uh, I thought Karen Gillan was good, but probably mm-hmm. the lower, um, the least notable out of the three and not, not because she was bad, but the other ones, I think, just kind of really Damn. outshone her. Ran with it, yeah. And I, yeah. her, even her, um, the the idea behind her character, I think, was the least interesting to me, at least. I know she was the kind of the nerdy, quiet girl who became attractive, and like that. That's so. I don't know, just kind of a boring story to play with. Compared to yeah. the popular girl who becomes an old, overweight, middle-aged guy, or the yeah. super jock who becomes this really tiny guy this who's short, dude. really slow, like the or the the nerd becoming the superhero, like yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I like I, I thought she did a good job. I just she was kind of one of the weaker points of the movie. Yeah, I'll give you that. Um, but yeah, so this is. Not quite a sequel. It's technically a sequel, I guess. It, it's a continuation of the story. It's, it just takes place in the same universe. Um, and it seemed... I don't know. Uh, do you think this movie would have been better if it wasn't Jumanji? Um, Like if it was its own standalone story about a video yeah. game? I don't know... That'd be hard because then I feel like it would just get a. Okay, does Jumanji already exist in this uh, hypothetical world? What do you mean? Because I think if if it well, no, I don't like, know. Cause, that made no sense, so I'm gonna retract it. <laughs> so Jumanji was really only in reference. There was no, there wasn't really any elements of the original Jumanji into this, and part of it is because so in the original one. The jungle came into, you know, the world, right? Like the video, the right. game, the board game was allowing the creatures to come into the world. And this one. And in this, it's the opposite. The opposite. And so there's not a lot of crossover that can happen with that, I don't think. Um, no, and, but I thought they, they did well with it. Yeah. I, I just, I just don't know if it was necessary. Like I think it would have been stronger without. The, oh, the really? name Jumanji. Yeah, I think, I think there was some stuff that kind of held it back or like made it a little more clunky, especially in the beginning, right? So in the beginning, 
the board game is found on the beach. The guy picks it up and takes it home, gives it to his son. I assume it was his son. And uh, mm-hmm. the kid doesn't want to play with it because he's got video games. So the yeah. board game's like, all right, then. I'm going to turn into a video game and changes magically, which sure. I mean, it's already magic. So why can't it not just more, yeah. but the, so, okay. The, my, one of, one of my issues is imagine if, uh, Alan Parrish never yeah. escaped the board game Jumanji. Yes. And then it transferred into the video game Jumanji his life in the board game. His, so he was in the jungle as a punishment. But Nick Jonas right. was in the the jungle to defeat a video game. Yeah. Um, I guess it gets a little sketchy. Yeah, because there was... As to how they would share the jungle, essentially. Because... But like, Alan, I'm okay. Alan it. Parrish, I liked it. Alan Parrish was waiting until the next person went because his, the turn was, he, he basically got a, uh, went, he just lost it. Yeah. He went to jail in Monopoly. It was the idea. Yeah. Pretty much. And so, and then, but no one continued. No the one game. continued. And so he was stuck there because the girl, Bonnie, what's her name? Bonnie. It was a Bonnie Hunt. No. Bunny Hunt? She, yeah. she, yeah, no, she right. quit, right? She ran away because he got sucked into a game. So he was just stuck in the jungle for 25 years. Mm-hmm. But the, like, that's the thing. Like this, Nick Jonas was stuck in the, until he defeated the game. It, it just doesn't, the, the logic, obviously, I, the logic is there's not a lot of it to even go around. No, but I, yeah. it, it just seems like, like yeah. when you start thinking about why is this Jumanji, it really starts to fall apart. Mm, yeah. No, I see what you're saying. And now you've completely ruined it for me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, one of the other things I really thought was poor, they did poorly about this, was uh, it seemed very much like people who don't play video games describing video games to someone else. Oh, yeah. Um, and every time that happened, I was like, oh, this, is, this doesn't make any sense. Like, there's just a lot of different rules. Like, the, the, uh, being allergic to bread or having a weakness to mosquitoes felt so forced to drive a point. Like, it wasn't, I didn't think those jokes were very funny. Um, and it was only just, it felt like they needed to get rid of more lives instead yeah. of, like, actually having a point. You know, like, I don't know, I, I felt. Yeah, no, um, I yeah, felt like the hippopotamus same. was a good way to get rid of a life. I felt like when he pushed um uh the rock off the cliff was another good way to get rid of a life. When he pushed uh Kevin Hart out of the the helicopter, that was decent. Like those all made sense like in the story. But the bread, the mosquito, um the CPR I thought was an interesting idea, but like those those other the weakness stuff just felt dumb. I don't know. Well, but I mean, if you think about it, you're playing a game, right, where you have multiple characters you can choose from. They're kind of built around that, where each character has their strength, but they also have a specific weakness that is exclusive to just them. Yeah. And it's usually pretty something ridiculous. It's not ever something that makes sense for the story. But The Rock didn't have any weaknesses. Uh, didn't he? Did he nope, not? that was one of the jokes. Weaknesses, none. Uh, oh, yeah, that's Karen right. Gillan. I don't even know what hers was. Um, hers. Oh, what was it? Oh, jeez. <laughs> and Jack Black. I don't remember what his was either because they don't come into play. So the Rock, his strengths are he is very strong and tough. His speed is the best mm-hmm. out of the group. No, this isn't quite the list I'm looking for. Oh, uh, yeah. So his strengths are, uh, strength, speed, climbing, boomerang, smoldering intensity, and his weakness was generosity. 
But I definitely thought it said that there was no weaknesses. I don't remember generosity being part of the yeah. thing. Uh, let's see. Ruby Roundhouse. Strengths Karate, Tai Chi, Aikido, Dance Fighting. Aikido is the biggest joke of a martial art ever, by the way. <laughs> and, oh, her weakness is Venom. That's right. She does get bit by a snake. That's, yeah. Uh, which also felt kind of forced into the story. So, well, isn't that like everyone's weakness? Uh, hit, uh in real life? Uh, seaplane. Getting bit by a venomous snake. Duo. Nick Jonas's character. Strengths, he's a yes. pilot and margaritas and weakness, mosquitoes. Yeah. Shelly Oberon, which is Jack Black's character, uh, cartography, archaeology, paleontology, weakness, endurance. Mm-hmm. And where's the last one? Oh, there he is. Uh, Franklin Mouse Finbar, which was, uh, yeah, Kevin Hart. Hart. His strengths are zoology and weapons valet. His weakness is cake, speed, and strength. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, the, this was another, I, I know I, I'm, I'm gonna have some issues with this show, uh, but I did enjoy it, this movie. Uh, but one of the issues sure. is the video game aspect of it. Uh, uh-huh. one, five characters, you have to have five people to play this game. The, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but the actual game, the controller slots, there's only four. Yes. So, but you have to have. Yeah, so it would have never happened. It, ne- it never could have been completed. Um, yeah. Also, five. There's no video game that has five player. Like, you have one, two, four, eight, sixteen. Like, that's generally the way things go. It's never like, Three, five players, like, you know what I mean? You don't. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. Like um, that. but, uh, yeah, so that was dumb. And then the characters were so unbalanced. Like, the idea of a video game is you should be able to play with any character and play with a different play style, right? But this was. Yes, but then this is the, this would be the. <sighs> Whoever's house you're at gets to be player one, and he would get to be the yeah. rock. Smolder. And that you would always get stuck being someone yeah. else. Because so the rock and Karen Gillian, they were both fighters, right? The rock was just an action hero. He could do everything and punch mm-hmm. everyone through the world. Uh, Karen Gillian was like a ninja. Then Kevin Hart's character was just a backpack, essentially. And Jack yep. Black's character was just kind of the map like there it, it felt it felt like a single player game make, like one character yeah split and then the rest are like the non-playable characters yeah well i was gonna say it felt you, like you, one person split into five different attributes you would need to make the characters balance enough to where if i'm playing by myself i i would realistically maybe i would choose to play as jack black or kevin yeah. hart but like those characters, no one would play that if they didn't have yeah. to. No, yeah, exactly. That, that's my point. Like uh, the idea of the characters being so, like it, it's a it's a funny idea, but then yeah. when you're like, oh wait, why? This would be a terrible video like, game. They should have, they should have had these. They could have had these dumb weaknesses like eating cake or endurance or strength or whatever. But the, their strength should have been a lot better. Like it should balance out. Yeah, you know, like. Yeah, exactly. Because there's no reason why The Rock couldn't carry a backpack. Right. There's also not a lot of reason why The Rock couldn't wear Kevin Hart as a backpack with Kevin Hart's backpack he on. He would be the backpack, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so those are some things I I didn't like. But overall, I think it was, it was really good. Um, it's a lot of fun. What did, what did you enjoy about it? Um, I, I enjoyed the, the characters having to learn to be different characters, which are, you know, completely opposite of who they were. I don't know if that Mm -hmm. made sense, but, 
I'd say that overall is probably the the biggest thing. It Yeah, I think it had I think it had I, a good message overall of you know, right. like you are you who you are isn't who you have to be kind of type of thing, you know? Like you're not mm-hmm. your situation doesn't dictate if you're gonna be a hero, essentially, right? Like just because you're whatever doesn't mean you can't do something or that you shouldn't do something if it's important. Right. Yeah, no, I agree. So that being said, it's a it's a good movie. Um I don't know if the original Jumanji had any kind of message like that. No. Huh? Maybe like respect your dad or he will come back as a hunter trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. I don't I don't remember any like message involved with that one, but um cuz there's a there's a one line in in this which I thought was was pretty pretty strong was the Rock's character was talking to Kevin Hart and he was like I need I can't do this. I only have one life left. Like if I die here I I, I can't be here. I don't I don't have enough life to spare. And he's like you you always only have one life. Like, yeah. you can, you can still be a hero. Like, you just have to do it. And I thought that was a, a cool moment. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I have to ask, hmm. what did you think of the, the fan service that they put in there that you typically hate with everything you have ever the, known? This is Alan Parsha's house. I'm just living in it that moment. I thought it just said Alan Alan, Alan Parrish lived here or something like that. Yeah, so we, right? when Nick Jonas is making margaritas for everyone, they're standing around. Yeah. And they're like, Who's Alan Parrish? And he's like, Oh, he was he's the guy here before me. This is just his house. I'm I'm just living in it. Yeah. I did not like that. Of course not. Well, it's a terrible line. It's I, I would have been okay. You didn't even, didn't, li- you yeah. didn't even believe that was in the movie when I said it. Because it was like that. I don't dumb. remember that. <laughs> that was your. T- am I wrong? You thought that was a dumb line when I repeated it. No, it is dumb. I, I was more thinking of long of of the carving. Like if they would have just made a nod to that carving that showed that this is where he was, I would have been perfectly fine yeah, with that. Yeah, like, that wouldn't have bothered me so much. I mean, again, it. The only reason it would have even bothered me was because it felt very unnecessary for this to be a Jumanji movie. But since it is a Jumanji movie, it makes sense why that there would be effects left over from him being there. But the yeah the the line of "This is his world. I'm just living in it" was a nod at Robin Williams, not at Alan Parrish. And ah uh, okay. And so it was just like they, if you go back and watch it, it'll stand out so much to you because it's it's so unnatural. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't. It doesn't fit with what was so, going on in the scene. Yeah. It doesn't fit with what's going on in the movie. It was. It's nice that they recognize him, but again, it's. I mean, don't don't do stuff that's gonna stop your movie. You know, like I don't know. It's no big deal. It's not that big of an issue. But like, I, I didn't. I didn't appreciate it. Yeah. So, so going into it, I assumed that there would be some kind of reference, right, to the original Jumanji, mm-hmm. but I didn't really know how. If, if you had to, how would you cross them over together? Um, if it was just like a one little nod to the original. So, okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm confused by what you're asking. For the movies, like, what would I do different? To make the movie fit with the first one? No, like, okay, like, since you hate fan service mm-hmm. so much, would you have rather it had no mention of the original? Well. Or, like, some kind of reference to say, oh, yeah, that's obviously in reference of the first so movie. So, this movie, this exact movie, how would I have liked them to handle referencing yes. the first? Uh Probably somewhat similar to what they did. Um, 
it's hard because it's so different than the first, right? Like as I was going to say, maybe like a hall of fame credit type thing at the end, you know, when they say they, they get out of the world, they get out of the game. It, yeah. The game would still be playing on the TV and they could be like a high score type thing with his name on it or his initials on it. Something like that. Yeah. But then again, it, that okay. wouldn't make any sense, right? Because he didn't no, play a video because game. he's not playing the video yeah. game. Um, so like that wouldn't really work. But. See, I, I would have been better if if they had if if maybe Joan, Nick Jonas had like made mention of Alan Paris, right? And then they say, "Oh, who's that?" And he will "I don't know." And then he just kind of nods over towards carved in, like he, yeah, I, he's like, "I don't know." It's just a, if, to him, it's just yeah. A name, well, because right? there's so uh, Nick Jonas is the only character other than the villain, which doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. Van Pelt uh, doesn't make any sense why yeah. he's sentient. Because all the other NPCs can only, they only have a certain amount that they can interact with people. They only have like. Yeah, like. Like, yeah. Rice, Reese, Rice, Darby. Dar- Dar- he, yeah. he yeah, can't yeah. communicate outside of his programmed speech, right? So Nick Jonas would have no idea who Alan Parrish is. Parrish is. Uh, no one would, cause he would have already been gone. No one would have been able to explain to him who he was unless he left a diary. But still, you're just reading a diary of a person. You have no idea who they are. And you would have yeah, exactly. no reference to yeah. them making it out or being a hero. Like, you would just assume, oh, he, yeah. he died. That He was here and now yeah. he's gone. Um, so for it, it just doesn't make a ton of sense. I think what you said, where it's just like, someone could have been like, who's Alan Parrish? And I was like, I don't know. That, that, that was here when I got here or something like that. Like, that yeah. would make... That would be logical in how everything is set up. I I I almost thought because for some reason going into it, what I thought they might do, I, and I knew it was a long stretch, but the fact that they were going to be in the jungle was maybe, and not that he would be a main character, but we would see like the hunter yeah. right as maybe even just like a, a small cameo that even shows that he's still like he still is active in the mm. game. Or that he was there at some point, or you know something like well, that. Well, isn't uh, Van Pelt the name of his that character? Yeah, you know what I think it is. I uh, that's because that sounds super familiar. Mm-hmm. Um, let me look. It's not. I think you might it's, be right. It's not the same character, but it's the same no, name, not. which is kind of a strange thing to do. I, I mean, it could, it might not be the same name, but I thought it was. It sounds. Yeah, it is Van yeah. Pelt. And so, like... So, is he supposed to be him? I th- I think so. I. But now, I think maybe when they I don't care changed the game to... Or the board game to the game, it changed his character, but he was still sentient. I, it just... It doesn't... It doesn't... There's no logic to it, is the problem. Yeah. Like, there's no amount of thinking or discussing about it that's going to make it, oh, that makes sense. Because they're just like... Yeah. We'll just do it. Like... People will be fine. Yeah, pretty much. Um, um, but something like that. I thought that's what, going into. I thought maybe we would see something yeah. like that. Yeah, I, I wish they would have. Um, I don't know. I, I enjoy, I enjoyed everything they did inside the game. I just didn't like any of the framework they built around it to, to uh, right. qualify or legitimize what they were doing. Um, but at the same time, it's not like you can't do that. Like you, you, it's not like they couldn't just have them in the world for no reason. You have to have rules and things like a motivation to move forward. It just, maybe if they wouldn't have known it the whole time and are like trying to figure it out and trying to like, like you say you, you start up a video game, right? Like you're thrown into the world and you, you have to piece together what you're doing and how you're going and where you, like what to do. Like they kind of did that, but they felt, it felt very much like they knew every step of the way, you know, like, um, it felt very linear of a game that appeared to be open world, uh, which (sighs) it just feels like the dumbest way to talk about this movie, (laughs) but it was, it was kind of frustrating to watch that it it doesn't make a great video. Yeah. Like the, cause I mean, that's, 
that's that was kind of the point of the movie was them playing a video game or it being a video game movie and it's definitely good but i i think wreck it ralph is better i think wreck it ralph understood video games better and played with that all the rules and how stuff works so much better than this did i have not seen Reddit no ralph. it's pretty good i need i know i need to i want to i just haven't yeah. done it um but like that's the thing. I, again, I I just felt like the people who made this movie were like someone wrote down how video games work to them, and they try to make it make sense from that. Yeah. Like not not from understanding how it works. And so all the interpersonal stuff, all the the um, different uh, personality stuff between the characters, because they went from one thing to another. Like, all that stuff was great. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought that was really funny. That was really strong. All the video game stuff was dumb. Yeah, no, I agree. But, uh, I don't know. All in all. Here's, here's another question. So, I just thought of this, mm -hmm. right? The, 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 the game almost seems like it's designed that you would need. All four of your characters to win, or all five. Sorry. So Nick Jonas was he playing by himself, yeah. and is he is he capable of winning? I don't think so. Or did he go in with four of the people and they actually died, so their characters reset and were available to the other kids? I don't know if that's a. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you've ever been so boggled by one of my questions. <laughs> well, we clearly see that he played by himself. No, I know that was more. Oh, are you saying like a joke other part. people joined in between the twenty years? Because that could have happened, right? I, that that would have been somewhat interesting. I don't know. It was like if these weren't the first people to come along, mm -hmm. you know. And like him try to escape again and then they, they just couldn't do it and he went back to living in, in solitude. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I I kinda wish they would have all had one life, not three, but reset when everyone died. Do you know what I'm saying? So like they almost like uh live edge of tomorrow. Or you get, just kind of keep getting a chance to do it again, do it again, do it again. But like, right. I think it would have been interesting to see them all show up, figure out who they are, and then slowly die one by one in this panic, and then everyone restart at the beginning, and then go through and like that kind of be the, you know how you progress in like Super Mario World is you like you go right. try die, try again die, try again die, instead of this like. Oh, we only have three lives and then who knows what happens. Like, I think it would have been cool to see them, you know, trying, trying, dying, trying again, getting better, dying, getting better, getting better. And then at the end, it's just like one person left just about to get to the end and they like barely do it with their last life and save everyone. You know, something more along those lines than the three, yeah, the three okay. lives. I think that could have been, I see, could have been interesting, but yeah, I agree. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, all in all, I did enjoy yeah, the movie. Yeah, me too. Which I was shocked by. I did, I had my expectations were very low going into this movie. I'm I'm pretty shocked that you liked it. <laughs> Just but uh, yeah. So uh, next week, no, I keep saying next week. I don't know why. Uh, in a couple days, our next episode, uh, assuming that it's. Not a guest episode or our midweek episode. Uh, our next main episode will be the Hunger Games. The first Hunger Games. The Hunger Games. Starting off. I haven't seen that movie in a yeah, long I haven't time. seen it since it came out. It would be interesting to go back and rewatch. I read the books. Books were decent. I read the books before the movies. I really enjoyed the... Yeah, I think the books are better, but the movies are still pretty good. It would be interesting to go back and rewatch it. Yeah, to see if yeah. it holds up. But uh, if you want to listen to that now, you can go over to Patreon because all our episodes come out two weeks in advance over there. Uh, and then you can uh, follow us on Twitter at I Seen That Pod and like us on Facebook. 
Yeah. Dun, dun, dun.